Back on Inside Tennessee with my colleague John North. And John, uh, the speaker is entering almost year five in that post. Um, I think you can make the argument that last year may have been his most difficult year. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't say that I felt sympathy for him last year, but I did. And uh, that's, we sort of closed our discussion about it. To me, him being able to sort of process, succeed, and not be making the headlines constantly for ugliness is going to be the challenge, in my opinion. His biggest challenge, Susan? Well, um, there's some holdover from last session, I think. But by and large, they're going to be focusing on issues this year, and particularly, as you heard him say, education, school choice. And I, I, think, I think he's able to control, uh, control the minority and hopefully focus on issues and policy. Don? Well, I, in a sense, I don't disagree with Susan. Um, I, I think decorum, as we mentioned, is going to be a challenge. I, I think it's going to be, in some ways, as bad. The, the Republicans have put in harsher rules, and I'm sorry, I don't have faith that they will be applied equally to their side, uh, but they have the supermajority, so they're, they're going to get a lot more deference than the Democrats that dissent from what the Republicans want. I just hate that, so the Democrats are in a minority position, but they represent, I mean, about 45% by most accounts of this state's population. The, the gerrymandering has fixed the representation within the state so that the Republicans uh, have, can, can win almost any district. And so I wish Speaker Sexton and his colleagues would at least give some more credence by way of committee assignments, by way of deference on the floor to issues that are important to the Democrats, because while they may be small in the legislature, they, they are large within the state population. Earlier this week, we saw Donald Trump dominate Iowa mm -hmm. historically, winning by uh, margins we haven't ever seen. Don, uh, he was in Iowa and with him was Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs. Um, and your fellow Democrats took an opportunity to take some political swipes at the mayor for being As they there should. during one of the largest snowstorms we've seen in recent Kind of like Ted Cruz going to Cancun during in the, the hurricane hitting Texas. Was that fair criticism? Uh, yes, it was. Uh, he, he would have been better served here and uh, uh, we would have been better served with our mayor here. You know, Susan, uh, much ado about nothing? Um, I'm sort of I sort of agree with our friend Mike Danilla that said, you know, he has a phone and an internet in Iowa and he was able to stay in touch with his public life. I have a feeling Mike Danilla has to help him turn those on sometimes. I would note, <laughs> however, though, as soon as his plane touched down coming back from Iowa, where, where did he go? He went to the Public Works Center. He did. Mm -hmm. He did. <laughs> and we'll say, uh, all of us here, it, it's important for us to take a moment just to thank not only the yes. public work yeah. crews, yes. but yeah. the first responders across our yeah. community. And, and T Police, fire, yeah. you name it, uh, you've been out in the worst of it through it all, and we can't thank you enough. You've, you've come to the rescue of people at this station, and that's just a microcosm of yeah. what they've done. Yeah. And well, a shout out to a few of the restaurants that not only have tried to stay open, but have literally fed anybody for free that needed food. And, and I can think, you know, Martha Boggs at the Bistro downtown and a couple of other restaurants really did a fine job. Yassine, mm -hmm. uh, and Yassine's falafel, they, they, they just worked really hard to take I, care of people. I would also say um, shop at some small business Mm -hmm. local when this stores is over because with. they yeah. they're they've gonna had need to close. it. They've lost that's income. A, that's they've a week of income. loss. Yeah, so we appreciate you joining us on this Sunday morning. Have a great start to your week and we'll see you next week on